I'm joined right now by Senator Ben Nelson here at his childhood home here in McCook. Uh, I, thank you for taking a couple minutes sure. for one. Uh, the main topic going around in Nebraska and really much of the nation right now is the whole winner take all conversation. Sure. And one of the points of emphasis there that I feel like is interesting is the concept of winner take all a Lauren Lippincott bill, Senator uh, Lauren Lippincott did not make it out of committee. It had issues even getting to that point when it was in regular session. But now a lot of national support, whether it's from the congressional representation in Nebraska or Senator Lindsey Graham is really pushing this thing. What is your thoughts on the whole idea of the of a bill that had trouble getting to the floor now being a focus and trying to get into a special session? Well, I think it speaks for itself. They didn't they couldn't do it back then. Uh, they had all the time in the world back then to evaluate it. They did, and they decided not to move forward because they didn't have the votes. And uh, there's no indication right now that all those votes have changed. Uh, but, but the noise and the confusion and the chaos that this is creating uh, is causing people to ask, well, if they didn't do it then, why do they think they can do it now? Well, I think they can think they can pressure a lot of the, the people back who voted differently back then have to vote differently today uh, and that's all self-serving because they're looking to to if you will engineer an outcome uh, for the outcome of the presidential election potentially uh, because of one vote one electoral vote uh, if they if they can't do it any other way uh, to to win an election then this this is one of those things that I think will give people a bad taste in their mouth about why why didn't you get it done back then? Well, you couldn't get it done back then. Why are you going to pressure people to try to get it done now in the middle of a race with just a few weeks ahead of us before there's actually a vote? People are going to be more confused than they are right now. It's not not everybody understands what the blue dot idea is about, and uh, but they go along with it because they vote. Uh, now, if they're going to be more confused, I worry that maybe some people will just stay home and not vote. I mean, it's, it doesn't, it's, it's the wrong thing at the wrong time uh, to do. How do you feel like this whole issue could impact an Omaha politician, say a Congressman Don Bacon mm -hmm. or a state senator who's looking for re-election or somebody who's looking to run for mayor? That's an issue right now out in Omaha. Where they fall, where this goes, how does that impact them? Well, it, it can impact every, every uh, uh, election uh, just to some extent or other. If people stay home and the votes uh, percentages change because there are fewer people who voted this way coming and they're not home they're home so they don't vote and so it just it's it's a it's a horrible thing to do uh, it should be done if it's going to be done at all in the next session because it should have been done this last session and you know this is nothing new this these sessions uh, they've tried this in the past and they've never been able to do it for all these years since then uh, there have been a, a in terms of the numbers of Republicans there who unofficially are Republicans, unofficially Democrats, mm -hmm. they've had Republicans uh, head uh, in the numbers there for years, and they've not been able to change this. So now the pressure is on uh, with uh, with uh, former President Trump, Lindsey Graham, slipping out of uh, South Carolina to get up here to tell the 33 uh, senators what to do. Uh, you know, I, I, Lindsey Graham, I know know quite well. Uh, but I wouldn't go down to South Carolina and tell him how to run his state. And I think for him to come up here and tell us how to run our state is, uh, uh, is, is interesting, at least. Do we think we know that Senator Graham came on his own fruition or there might have been some other conversation somewhere saying, hey, Senator Graham, head up to Lincoln? I don't think that Lindsey Graham got up one morning and this came up on his uh, uh, agenda to, to do all by itself. You know, this is not something uh, that, that would would bring somebody uh, to to the state on their own uh, if they didn't have some. But maybe maybe so. But I think that's a question he should answer for people in Nebraska. Why are why are you concerned about this? Well, if he's concerned about it, changing the outcome of the presidential election, he needs to tell us that. And the people in Nebraska can can decide whether that's such a good idea to be changing it. Uh, to get a different outcome than maybe would otherwise you'd otherwise have at this point in the election cycle. Can you walk us through one one last question? Walk us through the process of in I think it was ninety two when the change was made. 
why the change was made or how that got to that point to get to where we are now? Well, there was a group that came up with the idea of, of uh, making, the, as opposed to just going to a, a popular vote where all the votes are counted and whoever got the most votes, uh, no matter how many there were from California, how many there were from Nebraska, whatever, that, that that's the winner of the, uh, and the outcome of, of the uh, election uh, is, is decided that way. Uh, people who have been questioning whether the, the, the uh, uh, electoral college should exist even, maybe we just go back to, so as opposed to something uh, like as, as radical as eliminating the electoral college altogether, that it was an element of get some, uh, if you will, uh, popular vote showing in the outcome of, of an election in a state. And so going to the, to the, to the state uh, congressional districts and le considering them separately uh, was devised. I mean, uh, it, it, it hasn't, Nebraska hasn't every, every election, mm -hmm. presidential election, I had a second uh, de a congressional delegation vote differently than the state, but it has on certain occasions. Mm -hmm. And and in the past, uh, while it was interesting, now it looks like maybe this is real for real that this one vote's going to count more. Well, that's that's not a reason to change the system. It just isn't isn't a reason at all. And then my, I guess I'll add one more question. Uh, do you believe that the change or the push for the change is coming because there's concern in a certain camp about whether or not former President Trump can win the Omaha area? Well, you know, I, I think they are probably concerned about that. So, you know, I hate to give uh, my impression of other people's actions and what, what what's driving their actions, mm -hmm. but it sure looks like that. And, uh, and people other than myself are saying that out loud uh, everywhere about that that's what this is about. As a matter, matter of fact, I think even some of those who are pushing for this have admitted that that's going to be a, could be a factor in the outcome of the election. Well, so be it. It's the system. Mm -hmm. you know, getting one more vote uh, in the state of Nebraska, uh, one way or the other, could, could, uh, could apply to all the other electoral votes in the state. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that we find a way to make certain that we, saw, we don't get one more vote for, for one side versus the other. I mean, it just, it looks like it's being engineered, self-serving and it's unnecessary. And it wasn't done when they had the whole legislative session to do it. Uh, and I think for good reason, because they didn't have the votes and now the pressure to get the votes seems to me to be uh, not only unwise, I, I just don't think it's in the best interest of of, uh, of the election process, when we're trying to get an election process that people have faith and confidence in, you shouldn't be out there trying to tweedle it some way uh, to, to get your result. Senator Ben Nelson, I appreciate your time. Yep. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for welcoming me into your backyard, <laughs> your childhood home out here in McCook. This is awesome. Well, I appreciate your being here and the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Bet, Chris. Thanks.